The National Women's Suffrage Association was founded by Suzanne B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Born on November 12, 1815 in Johnson's Town, New York, Stanton was the daughter of Margaret Living Ingston and Danny Cady, Johnstown's most prominent citizens. She received her formal education at the Johnstown Academy and at Emma Wilcard's Troy Female Seminary Day in New York. Her father was a noted lawyer and state assemblyman, and young Elizabeth gained an informal legal education by talking with him and listening in on conversations with colleagues and guests. A well-educated woman, Stanton married abolished le lecturer Henry Stanton in 1840. She too became active in the anti-slave movement and worked alongside leading abolitionists today, including Sarah and Angela Grimley and William Lloyd Garrison, all star guests at the Stanton home where they lived in Albany, New York, and later Boston. On her honeymoon in London to attend a war or old anti-slavery convention, Stanton men abolished Lucian Mott, who, like her, was also angry about the exclusion of women at the proceedings. Mott and Stanton, now fast friends, vowed to call a women's right convention when they returned home. Eight years later, in 1848, Stanton and Mott held the, woman, the first women's rights convention at St. Falls, New York. Stanton offered the Declaration of Sentiments, which expanded the Declaration of Independence by adding the word woman or woman throughout. This pivotal document called for social and legal changes to elevate women's place in society and enlist in 18 citizens from the inability to control their wages and property or the difficulty in gaining custody and divorce to the due to the lack of vote. Although Stanton remained committed to efforts uh, to gain popular rights for married women and ending slavery, the women's suffrage movement increasingly became her top priority. Stanton met Susan B. Anthony in 1851 and the two quickly began collaboration on species, articles, and books. Their intellect and organizational partnership dominated the woman movement for over half a century. When Stanton was unable to travel due to the demands of her raising several children, and she would offer speeches for Anthony to deliver. In 1862, the Stantons moved to Brooklyn and later New York City. There she became, also became involved in Civil War efforts and joined the Anthony to advocate for the 13th Amendment which ended slavery. An outstanding author with a sharp mind, Stanton was able to travel more after the Civil War when she became one of the best known women's rights activists in the country. Susan B. Anthony was born on February 15, 1820 in Albany, Massachusetts. Her Quaker mother, her mother, her Lucy, came to, from a family that fought in the American Revolution and served in the Massachusetts state government. From an early age, Anthony was inspired by the Quaker belief that everyone was equal under God. Later on, on and the, after years of fighting women inequality, in May 1869, two days after the final AERA convention, Susan and Stanton, along with their server, other major figures in the fight against women inequality, and they all founded the National Women's Suffrage Association. This was yet another push for constitutional amendments giving women the right to vote. The two continued fight aiding for women's rights until they eventually passed away at different dates.